With his unique blend of sleaze and sophistication, Thierry Artisan has been shocking French television audiences for over 10 years. Why did you do that? You keep on looking at my tits. Oh, come on, don't be a pain in the ass. Always dressed in black and armed with the obligatory cigarette and glass of champagne, Artisan is notorious for asking personal and provocative questions, as in this interview with France's number one newsreader. You're not worried about being bald? No, I don't care. I don't like my face, though. You're not worried about not being able to get an erection? I really hate this kind of question and even more the kind of answers. One of the best uh, compliments people uh, uh, told me at that time, it was, oh, you are asking the questions I would have asked if I was in your place. Could you show me your tits? No, no. No, no you pull your pants down oh, no, 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 and I'll no. take off my bra. <laughs> but I can't just test if they're real or not. Oh, yeah, go on. Yes? There you go. There okay. we go. Oh, yes. <laughs> Artisan first gained notoriety when he produced and presented Descent de Police, in which the celebrity interviews took the form of brutal police investigations. Even starlets like Sophie Marceau, who was recently seen in Braveheart, played along in this barrage of insults and abuse. But at least the stars were in on the joke. Have you always had so many zits? What, these? No, no, I only ever get them. It's, what are I going to say, it's stress. I was aggressive with the people I was interviewing. It was because I was very... Uh, uh, unhappy, and I wanted the people in front of me to be as unhappy as I was. As well as employing guerrilla shock tactics, Alderson has also managed to reinvent the celebrity interview with innovative devices such as superstar self-questioning. Can a white man be funky? I can see it again, white. And putting together unlikely icon combinations such as this pairing of Serge Gainsbourg and Betty Blue's Beatrice Dahl. Le don de la nature que tu aimerais avoir. Je veux de la musique, ouais, tiens. C'est un don de la nature, ça, ouais. Ah. Ça moi, c'est ouais, ben, faire caca sans odeur. <rire> ça, c'est classe. In his latest cult hit, Paris Dernier, Thierry steps behind the camera for a weekly jaunt through nighttime Paris, starting from his flat. Je suis en train de me laver. Attends, je suis en train de me laver les dents. I had the idea of the subjective camera, it's to say not to be on the screen, but to show the people what I see. In the daytime, he calls himself Jean-Louis, but at night he's Madonna. Thierry's nocturnal ramblings have included peering at rubber dolls, dropping in for a chat with Kitchmeister's Pierre Agile, or gate-crashing an over-40s swingers' night. Oh, Christina, she's got quite a speciality. What? What? She likes big dicks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like a wild pig. I can sniff out big dicks like truffles, you know? <laughs> I'm looking at the people like if I was an entomologist with a microscope. And uh, I'm looking at the way the people, um, the different ways people are trying to get pleasure. And it's very astonishing to see what people are able to do to, to get orgasm or pleasure. And what does the Desmond Morris of Parisian nightlife do for his own pleasure? He's decided that the secret of a stable marriage is only to have sex with your wife in hotel rooms. I, I thought it was better to go to an hotel to have sex, you know, like if she was my, my lover. Uh, if you do it at home and if the children awake in the night, that is the beginning of divorce. And uh, I think I'm right. 